does it did it make sense the way that I explained it in the module around this idea of neuroplasticity and how yeah, yeah. effectively what you've done is you've you've got a bunch of patterns that have been running for years mm. and you've wired and trained your brain to be yeah. a certain way. And in a sense, at this point in our in our work together, I feel like I've got, and hopefully you feel like I've got, a relatively good understanding of some of the history and some yeah. of the things that are happening and some of the ways that you're experiencing things. And we have to be careful that we don't just go down a path of lots of knowledge and insight mm. without that turning into some kind of actual change of what's happening. Yeah. And I feel like the things that are the kind of three things particularly that are really critical right now is firstly the meditation, because what that does is that that conditions and trains your system to be calmer. And inevitably what's going to happen if you're if you're up here and you meditate and mm. it calms down you'll stop and it will gradually then start to go back up to the level it was at before. Yeah. So then the second thing is, what are the thought patterns, the habits, the behaviors mm. that move you from a slightly calmer place back up into the anxious place? If you can see it, you don't have to be it. If we can have more, aware of the, more awareness of those thought patterns, then that become, comes to the third point, which is using the stop process one of a number of tools we can use, mm. but using the stop process to start to break some of those patterns of thinking and, and effectively train your system back mm. into a calmer state and a calmer way of being. And if we don't do those practical pieces, as I say, we're mm. in danger of like more knowledge and more insight and more understanding, but not much actually changing. Yeah, yeah. Because it's not the awareness alone Given the level of conditioning that that has been that been here, the awareness alone won't change it. It might make it feel a bit easier, and it might mm. feel a bit more insightful into what's happening. Mm. But it's the change in habits that ultimately is going to change what's going on. Yeah, 